Right, okay, so uh, we're on the Can't Touch List trophy. Uh, this is basically just completing any level within the game uh, without getting hit whatsoever. Uh, I'm pretty sure that includes by plants and stuff, so anything that'll take your shields down or do any kind of damage to you. Um, basically, just don't hit, you know, so you can probably fly through a bubble or hit a wall, but that's about the extent as you can go for getting hit. Um, as opposed to getting hit by bugs or uh, by raiders or imperial ships. Uh, you just can't get hit whatsoever. Uh, same from like lava, unless obviously if you've got the shields on. Uh, to prevent you from get, get, taking lava damage, I suppose that won't count. Basically, anything that can take off a uh, one shield from your health will count. Anything that won't um, take, you know, do any damage, then shouldn't. Uh, obviously, uh, will not count. So you know, you just need to keep an eye out as to what's uh, going to do your damage and what isn't. So obviously, these little uh, alarming guys won't do any damage to you. You know, so there's no point chasing after them and uh, trying to kill them because they're not going to do us any damage. They might obviously bring back people which do damage, but. Obviously, it's either then your choice to uh, avoid them or to kill them um, when they do come back. But you know, your safer option obviously is avoiding any extra trouble you can do. Well, I don't really do that anymore. Uh, your best way to complete this is uh, complete um, a season where you can get nine uh, crash coins. Once you've completed that season, head on to uh, well, head on to uh, back to season one. So obviously, if you complete a season with nine crash coins, start season one from a you know episode one. So just jump straight into it. And then obviously skip the intro because uh, the introductions of uh, seasons don't count, so you might as well skip them. And once you get into it, obviously you've got nine crash coins, which works out like uh, 2,250 uh, scrap coins, I think. Um, and obviously you can use that to uh, purchase any other upgrades uh, or anything you may have or m may not have. Uh, the entire video is kept in double speed, it's just for the fact of... Uh, well, going through and completing the actual game itself, um, I suppose, uh, without obviously causing uh, any uh, issues anywhere else. So obviously, that's uh, there and it's ready as it is. Um, just trying to think what else there is. Yeah, so you can avoid ga uh, characters, you know, and obviously uh, avoid a lot of combat just by flying around it. I've, because uh, my ship's quite upgraded, and uh, you know, I'll pay enough attention to this. I didn't see the point in needing to do that so I just sort of you know kept playing and uh, kept fighting as sort of normally would do and sort of got through it that way but you are set safer off uh, obviously getting some upgrades and making sure you can't do damage like when I saw a couple of bugs here I thought one of the bugs might you know be able to latch on at me but I've kept my distance I've got the uh, uh, I'd say for your weapons uh, so your cores you're probably the best off looking at um, either super cold or the stun um, shots because obviously that you know adds a chance to either freeze or stun them that means they stop coming to you Catch them on fire is obviously just doing a little bit more damage, whereas I'd rather stun them or freeze them. Uh, yeah, assault muzzle, um, obviously, so everything's got everything there together. Uh, expanding shot, maybe, um, or you know, any shot of really preference doesn't make, really make a difference. So that's the shot type. Um, I don't think of anything else. Uh, your special shot, you're probably best off at bounce shots because obviously you can uh, hit the enemy around the corner without them getting close to you. Uh, for the mech mode, obviously, uh, you're better off just getting, well, trying to avoid using it. I've not really avoid using it, but, you know, against bugs, just avoid using it altogether. Um, against ships, it's not as bad, because uh, you're in season one, they're not, you know, they're not entirely accurate, and they're not got the strongest ships as of yet, especially on the, if you do this in a season one, episode one, like I've done here. Uh, you just got to kill the bugs mission, so... When it comes to killing the bugs, I'm just keeping my distance and obviously uh, shooting them dead. Whereas when it comes to any of the others, like, you know, I might be flying into them and uh, using the mech mode. As long as I'm not getting shot. So, obviously, earlier on, you saw me fly around um, uh, one of the Imperial ships. That's because I was just trying to lure him out to fire first. And once he's finished firing, I could uh, then get back at him with the mech mode. And, you know, no, I've not got a shot coming to me when uh, I am done with the mech mode. So, I was trying to play the safer option there. Just heading down now to the portal. Obviously, everyone knows there's uh, normally more ships to the portal. With it being episode one, we shouldn't have anything too challenging down there. I'm fairly sure we don't. Um, yep, there we go. You know, so you should be able to take them out in a if we've a uh, uh, shot using strafe or uh, with the mech mode, you probably be able to set them out without doing damage as well. But I think I just strafed around them a couple of times and uh, managed to fish, uh, finish them off that way. I know there you go. I did use mech mode. Um, but obviously once I've done with the mech mode, um, destroy them, get the uh, scrap and then head back through and that's where I've got the trophy and you know obviously if you manage to get through without getting actually hit like I've done there you should be fine to get the trophy as well. I'm pretty sure if your shield gets hit in mech mode as well it does count as getting hit because obviously you have been hit. Um, but do please enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, do appreciate any feedback whatsoever and thank you very much for watching.